Brienne joins the forces of King Renly Baratheon in the War of the Five Kings. She proves herself by winning a tournament amongst his men, including a victory over Renly's favorite, and Lord Commander of the Kingsguard, Sir Loras Tyrell. She asks to be named to his Kingsguard as a reward. Renly grants her request, despite her gender and consequent lack of knighthood. Catelyn arrives in the camp to negotiate an alliance between Renly and her son, King Rob Stark. Brienne takes offense when Lady Catelyn doesn't refer to Renly as, Your Grace, and later, escorts her and Renly through the camp as they talk. She tells Catelyn to call her just, Brienne, as despite her birth, she doesn't consider herself a, lady. Littlefinger also visits Renly's camp, as an envoy from King Joffrey Baratheon. Renly tells Peter that he does not trust him and cites Brienne as having true loyalty. This mistrust seems well-founded, as Peter offers to open the gates of King's Landing to Renly. While in camp, he also proposes that Catelyn exchange Rob's captive Jaime for her daughters. Brienne also guards Renly during an unsuccessful meeting with his brother, King Stannis Baratheon. Stannis threatens Renly for refusing to swear fealty to him. Later that evening, Renly talks with Catelyn in his tent, agreeing to recognize Rob as king in the north, as long as Rob gives him fealty as an overlord and recognizes his claim to the Iron Throne. Brienne is removing his armor when the flap of the tent flutters as if the wind has raised it, and Melisandre's shadow creature materializes to stab Renly in the back, running him through. Brienne is devastated at witnessing the death, but recognizes that the shadow had the likeness of Stannis. She cries out and catches him as he falls getting his blood all over herself. When two other members of Renly's Kingsguard who were guarding the tent rush in, they blame Brienne for the death and attack her. She is forced to kill Robar Royce and Emmon Kui, and Catelyn convinces her to flee the camp, as she cannot avenge Renly if she is dead herself. Brienne swears an oath of fealty to Catelyn, becoming her sworn sword. They travel back to Rob's camp in the Westerlands. Catelyn is devastated by news that her home Winterfell has been captured by the turncloak Theon and her sons made his captives. Rob, still in the midst of fighting for the Riverlands, plans to send word to a vassal in the north, the bastard of one of his commanders Roose Bolton, to free them and leaves to negotiate the surrender of the crag. Jaime escapes captivity, killing Torrin Karstark in the attempt. He is soon recaptured, but Torrin's father Lord Rickard Karstark demands his head in vengeance. Brienne guards Catelyn as she convinces Rickard to await Rob's return. As the hours until daylight stretch before them, the Karstarks are getting more violent and agitated, calling for Jaime's death. As it would be death to try to defend him, Brienne tells Catelyn that at this rate Jaime will not live long enough for Rob to return. Catelyn decides to free Jaime in an attempt to exchange him for her two daughters, who she believes are both being held hostage in King's Landing by the Lannisters. She orders Brienne to smuggle Jaime from the camp and deliver him to King's Landing in order to secure the safety of her daughters. Brienne travels by horse until finding a rowboat to evade pursuit. She suffers the constant antagonism of her captive as he taunts her about her appearance and her likely dismal history with the opposite sex. When they come upon a tree with the hanging corpses of three tavern girls who have been killed by Stark forces for having relations with Lannister men, Jaime confronts her with the atrocity committed by her side. Brienne reminds him that she is sworn to Lady Catelyn, not the Starks. Despite their need to continue, Brienne determines to give the women a decent burial and is going to cut them down, when three of the northern soldiers who killed the women return. Jaime tries to get her to remove his chains so he can defend them, but Brienne ignores him. She tells the men that she is escorting a prisoner back to Riverrun for justice. Jaime improvises that he is in chains for stealing a pig. Realizing that Brienne is a woman, the Stark soldiers laugh uncontrollably. Brienne suffers it in silence, and at this even Jaime seems sympathetic towards her over this rude treatment. She deflects the men's amusement by asking if the hanging women were given a quick death, and is told two of them were. When one of the men recognizes Jaime from the Battle of the Whispering Wood, Brienne is forced to fight them. She kills two quickly, but deliberately gives the third a slower death. Her skill impresses Sir Jaime, who points out that the men she killed were Stark soldiers. Brienne reaffirms that she is loyal not to the Starks but to Catelyn herself, then returns to the task of cutting down and burying the tavern girls. 